so I think I'm getting old and no longer cool and hip because I feel like I'm late to the game on this one. I was watching this TikTok where this girl is talking to her teenage sister and her sister calls her a downtown girl in terms of her fashion aesthetic and I didn't even know what that was. But apparently this aesthetic is getting pretty popular on TikTok so I thought I'd add it to my series on how to build a blank aesthetic wardrobe. If you haven't caught on by now, I feel like a lot of aesthetics become aesthetics by romanticizing certain things like dark academia romanticizes university life, cottage core romanticizes farm life and living in a cottage, and downtown girl aesthetic romanticizes living in New York or a downtown area, especially in the fall or autumn season. I couldn't find much on the history of the downtown girl aesthetic because I feel like this term is pretty new, but the style of clothing itself has been around for a while since like at least 2008 and it's a pretty common aesthetic I would say to see around. It's a very casual yet chic style of clothing and it's very achievable and definitely something you can wear every day. In fact, you might have a lot of these items in your wardrobe already. But before we get started, if you do end up liking this video, don't forget to give a like and comment down below what aesthetics you want me to cover in the future. And subscribe if you aren't already. Follow me on Instagram at the dress relief and on TikTok at dress relief. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my Etsy shop that just opened up. No brands want to sponsor me right now, so I'm a sponsor myself. I just opened an Etsy shop called Monsoon Mist where I am selling a lot of handmade jewelry that is inspired by a lot of the aesthetics I talk about like fairy core and fairy grunge, uh, dark academia. A lot of my jewelry would fit these aesthetics. And I also have a couple of handmade book covers and some art prints of some digital drawings I've done. So if this sounds interesting to you, definitely check out my shop. I'll link it down below and I'd really appreciate the support. But with all that said, let's get started. So in terms of general visuals and motifs, you would see a lot in downtown girl images and posts. You would see a lot of pre-loved and vintage books, bookstores in general, vinyls, subways, New York City of course, trains, a balcony, electric guitars, headphones and earphones, and cats. And in terms of general details you would see when it comes to downtown girl clothing, I see a lot of oversized fits baggy fits. For a color palette, I'd see a lot of neutrals, especially black and white, cream colors, denim, and pops of colors are okay as well. I also see a lot of Y2K inspo like baby tees and low-rise pants, but I don't think you have to wear Y2K trends. I think you can get this aesthetic without wearing low-rise pants and things like that. For tops, I would look for sweaters, especially striped or argyle patterns, vests, t-shirts or long sleeves, leather jackets, especially like a leather blazer style. For bottoms, I see a lot of mini skirts, especially with sheer tights for the fall or autumn. Jeans and baggy pants. For accessories, there's a lot of sunglasses, headphones, claw clips for your hair, and tote bags. And for shoes, I see a lot of Doc Martens, Converse, and platform shoes. I also feel like the accessories are more important than the actual clothing because you could also wear something like overalls which I wouldn't typically expect to see in the downtown girl aesthetic but if you style it right I think it could also fit. You could also wear a more dressed up look with like a button down shirt and still get this vibe if you style it right. So I think when it comes to the actual clothing pieces it's really not too strict. You just want to kind of style it to get that like vibe that you're just going into the city to run some errands for example. And finally I just wanted to talk a bit about where to shop for this aesthetic. First of all, you can always thrift and buy secondhand because I feel like these are pretty basic items and you can find a lot of essentials in a thrift store. If you're not able to thrift but you still want a sustainable option, one brand I always recommend is Minka London. They have clothing for a bunch of different aesthetics and I think they just come out with a collection that is actually called Downtown Girl. So. Definitely check that out. Brandy Melville is a really good option for this aesthetic, I feel like. In terms of style, their clothing matches really well, but the fact that their sizing isn't conclusive really irks me, so some alternatives for Brandy Melville would be PacSun, Jing, Garage Clothing. And if you want a more dressed up or preppy version of the downtown girl aesthetic, I'd go to Aritzia, Abercrombie, or at other stories. But that's pretty much all I have. If you have more suggestions for where to shop, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know because I love finding new stores to shop at. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, again, like, comment, let me know what you want to see in the future, and subscribe if you aren't already. Follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief and on TikTok at Dress Relief. And check out my Etsy shop, Monsoon Miss, link down below. And I'll see you guys next time.